So if I'm an entrepreneur out there and I'm losing some faith in myself, what do I what do I need to do to kind of get that back? You know, I think keep getting that positive outlook every day. Like you said, you talk yourself into it. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have people knocking you down. You have to have that positive outlook and believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. So, you know, get that support system around you that can really build you up and, you know. And I want to give two examples real quick. Some of you guys watching might be saying, well, yeah, it's easy for you because you guys have had some success. I'll be real. Um, after you sold your business, you sold, you kind of lose a little bit of purpose after mm -hmm. you sell something. Mm -hmm. And you kind of made a career transition to help now because people have been asking you to help them for years. Now you're doing some PR with them. I know for me, um, I've wanted to build Thrive. And I knew, having sold the business, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm good for about a million bucks. I can fund this thing, but I'm going to need beyond that. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, again, you're out there, you find yourself again getting rejected, kind yeah. of starting from the beginning again. Oh, yeah. In a different level, but it's it's the same thing. Right. And we cannot lose that faith. So if that's you, you're losing some faith today, mm -hmm. hang in there. Mm -hmm. All right. The Calvary's not coming, right. but you can keep watching some Thrive and we'll encourage you. That's right. The, the fourth thing that everyone needs to mm -hmm. know before they grow. Mm -hmm. We have to learn quickly from mentors. Mm -hmm. Brian Tracy, the famous success author, who's just a megawatt a success author, a motivational speaker, he says... No one lives long enough to learn everything they need to learn starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. To be successful, we absolutely, he says, absolutely, positively have to find people who have already paid the price to learn the things that we need to learn to achieve our goals. Mm -hmm. Deidre, what does that mean, that whole idea of learning from mentors? You know, I think if you think of everything that you didn't know when you were starting your businesses, and there's a lot of trial and error out there. So you can maybe eliminate a lot of those errors if you talk to someone that's kind of been down that path. Um, I learned this week that I have to get a new wardrobe, <laughs> um, and I'm frustrated. But I, I don't show it really. I just I tend to <laughs> smile. But no. But I, I I learned that, and I just now because it's just like this whole world of like yeah. pocket squares and tie clips and <laughs> fitted shirts and uh, what? Just leave me alone, people. You know. And I, I but I think it's important that we reach out to mentors who've already done it. Right. Whether it's a style consultant that's already done or done right. it, or, or it's a a uh, PR consultant that's already done it. Right. Um, and I would say, this is a, a, a Napoleon Hill th thought, mm -hmm. but Napoleon Hill said that he thought intelligence mm -hmm. is the ability to get information quickly mm -hmm. when you need it. It's not so much knowing it all. Absolutely. And I think that's one thing that you're very resourceful mm -hmm. about. It's like if you don't know how to mm -hmm. get something done, you know who to call to figure it out. Yes. You and don't I, have to know everything. And I, this is a huge time saving. So we have to learn quickly from mentors. Yes. So if I'm, an, if I'm an entrepreneur out there, I don't have the money to afford uh, hiring a style consultant, Deidre. Right. I don't have the money to pay a web guy right. or to pay these people who've already done it before. How do I get the mentorship? What do I do? I mean, you could, on the style part, you could go online and, you know, there's great blogs out there about business style and, and how to dress and things like that. If you want to just read up on it. Um, I mean, great books. You can get a book for 20 bucks and, and learn. Duck Dynasty is the blog that I've been right. following for my style <laughs> tips. That's the one that I get most of. That's the problem. That's the one. That's yeah. the one. Okay. Yeah, I think read. I mean, reading and, and leaning on people. And I think anybody, if you ask them, you know, for a few minutes of their time would give you some advice. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get rejected from somebody who's uh, uh, and, and uh, that's you know that you ask them for advice and they reject you, mm -hmm. you can't get discouraged. You have to be encouraged. And I know that as, as a rule on Thrive, we really don't want to film you know the people that are filming. But I think we need to film this guy first. <laughs> this guy here. That's Dan. That's Dan Nix. <laughs> and one thing that I discovered with Dan, which was amazing, is this guy reached out to me. Uh, over a period of, was it a year or was it two years? About, it was a year. About a year. So a really? year, he reached out because he wanted mentorship. Aww. And this guy's like yeah. a, a super talent. But yeah. you know what he needed? He wasn't going to live long enough to learn everything from scratch, so he needed a mentor. I need a mentor. We mm -hmm. all need a mentor. Right. Um, unless you're you're the Birdman, the other video guy, because he <laughs> doesn't need a mentor. He's the Birdman. Ka-ka! Okay. <laughs>